Now, time for Fox Carolina weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. And you know what? One thing that has not changed since the beginning of the year is how much rain we've been getting. Really, every couple, three days, we get some form of rain around here. Some of it's been torrential and flooding. 2020 so far has brought us nearly 15 inches of rain in the upstate. That's a surplus of over nine inches above which we would normally have by this time of year. In the mountains, close to a foot of rain so far, that surplus at nearly six inches, but we have some dry times ahead. The showers are moving out. We have some clouds lingering. Might see a stray snow flurry up in the high mountain locations, but that would be it. Mainly the story is going to be the chill. Temperatures are in the upper 30s already across the mountains. We're at 50 in Union, 48 for you in Gaffney, 50 in Greenville, and 49 in Clemson. Tomorrow morning, we'll start off in the upper 30s. We'll make it to around 50 degrees by lunchtime, mid 50s as we get into the late afternoon. Afternoon, but it's going to get really cold after that. This will be as warm as it gets. And then as you head toward the 7, 8 o'clock time frame, if you've got a big date and heading out on the town, it's going to be cold. I'll have that evening forecast for you in a second. 31 to start the day in the mountains. The kiddos will be chilly at the bus stop. And then 46 by the end of the day. But with the sunshine, I had to go high on the sky meter. We went with a 9, but since it's going to be awfully cool, kind of a shock to the system, couldn't quite give it that perfect 10. Now for your Valentine's evening forecast, as temperatures will go from low 50s around 5 o'clock to 40s at 8 p.m. and then 30s at, t at 11 o'clock. So if you've got maybe late dinner reservations and you're heading back, you're really going to feel that chill. Make sure to bring your coat. Uh, it's going to be one of those nights where it is just going to be very, very cold. We're going to get into the 20s by the time we get towards Saturday morning. Now, Saturday looks great, mostly sunny, and Sunday not too shabby. A little bit of shower activity down to the south, uh, but we're not going to see much in the way of rain around here. As we go into Monday, our President's Day, we'll get a break from any cloud cover. Ought to get a little bit of a sunshine, very low rain chance throughout the day. So if you've got the three-day weekend, most of these days are looking pretty good for being outside, and we even warm up a little bit. But then here comes some rain. As we head into Tuesday, we're going to have off and on showers. And then by the time we hit Wednesday, we should start to clear out just a bit before we have another chance of rain coming back in. Or is it going to be rain? That's the big question. Right now, our models are a little bit split. We have a long time to watch for this, but there is the potential on Thursday. We could see winter weather in parts of our area, uh, so we'll have to keep a close eye on it. Uh, but right now, uh, not calling for anything just yet. We have our models just again aren't quite agreeing on exactly what's going to happen, but we'll keep you posted on how things evolve. Uh, in the meantime, though, nice and quiet and nice and sunny but it will be chilly through Saturday. Of course, you can check in on the morning news from 4.30 to 9 for the latest on your forecast as we head into Valentine's.